welcome suit in this video we will try to complete the practical number 5c that is creating the web application to demonstrate various states of asp.net page i don't think so in a single video i will be completing all the practical otherwise video length will be very big so we'll go one by one so in this current video we will first of all try to understand various state option which are given by the asp.net what is a state a state is nothing but the continuous communication which has been maintained between a client and server http is a protocol which is used for a web communication hypertext transmission protocol and this protocol is a stateless protocol it means every request made by the client browser is treated as a new request by the server it is not a continuation of earlier request अगर स्टेट मैनेजमेंट नहीं होता था तो हर एक फेसबुक का लाइक को आपको यूजर आईडी पासवर्ड डालता बैठना पड़ता था सो so, वही स्टेट्स को मैनेज करने के लिए ए एस पी डॉट नेट हैड टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्टेट मैनेजमेंट वन इज द सर्वर साइड स्टेट मैनेजमेंट एंड सेकेंड इज द क्लाइंट साइड स्टेट मैनेजमेंट अ क्लाइंट साइड स्टेट मैनेजमेंट इट मीन्स द स्टेट डेटा इज बीन कैप्ट विद द क्लाइंट ब्राउजर and with every another request the client browser sends that data back to the server asp.net provides a client side state management as view state control state hidden fields cookies and query string and for the server side state management asp.net provides us application state session state and profile properties so in this video we will try to understand how the view state works along with the controls and along with the member variable so let's concentrate so view state is a method to preserve the value of a page and controls between the round trip sir round trip kya hota hai simple baat hai aap jab page ko first time load karte ho to usko bola jata hai initial request aur jab button ko click karte ho to usko bola jata hai post back request so post back request is termed as the round trips it is the page level state बाबा लोग बेबी लोग बराबर से ध्यान दो पेज लेवल स्टेट मतलब क्या होता है इट इज ओनली रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू द करंट पेज ओनली जैसे ही आप फर्स्ट पेज से सेकंड पेज में चले जाओगे तो समझ लो नया पेज का व्यू स्टेट चालू हो जाएगा और ओल्ड पेज का व्यू स्टेट डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाएगा सो इट इज अ पेज लेवल स्टेट मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक अ व्यू स्टेट इज टर्न ऑन बाई डिफॉल्ट एंड नॉर्मली सीरलाइज द डेटा इन एवरी कंट्रोल ऑन द पेज Regardless of whether it is actually used during the post back or not, the view state हम लोग page level पे control level पे भी implement कर सकते हैं एक छोटा सा figure draw किया है मैंने समझने के लिए working कैसा होता है view state. So following the illustration, uh, uh, sorry, following is the installation state and initialization state begins for the page and all its control. तो so, page life cycle कैसा होता है वो देखो रे बाबा तो एच टी डी पी हेडर्स होता है आपने रिक्वेस्ट भेजा तो इनिशलाइज होगा फिर लोड होगा व्यू स्टेट फिर लोड होगा पोस्ट बैक डेटा फिर लोड होगा एक्चुअली कंट्रोल जिसका इवेंट आपने कॉल किया हुआ फिर पोस्ट बैक इवेंट आपका एग्जीक्यूट हो जाएगा फिर सेव होगा व्यू स्टेट का डेटा एंड बाद में रेंडर होके आपका आउटपुट क्लाइंट के पास चला जाएगा सो दीज आर दिन विच आर देर इन द पेज लाइफ साइकिल इन विच द व्यू स्टेट इज बिन इम्प्लीमेंटेड सो नाउ वी वुड लाइक टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द व्यू स्टेट How the if the view state has been disabled by us, then what will happen? And if view state has been enabled by us, what will happen? So let us try to concentrate on that. Okay, this is the earlier program. So I just plan to go for creating a new solution, a new project. So I had created the new project as the ASP dot net web application. Okay, I am just giving the name as is as view state practical. and then further i am planning to create a empty application i would like to show you what is without a view state and what is with a view state and how the view state is been passed by the server and again passed by the client to the server in the round trips so here i am adding a new web form so a new web form get added please concentrate properly now what i am expecting i am expecting you should understand what is with the view state and what is without a view state in the control so to understand that what i am doing i am just adding one calendar control one button and one label 
what I'm expecting when the user clicks on a button, whatever the date which has been selected, that must be displayed on the label. So I double click on a button and writing a small code for it. So here I'm writing by saying label one text equal to calendar one dot selected date dot to string. Fine. So the task has been completed over here and here I'm interested in going for running this particular page. When I run this particular page, uh, now currently the view state has been enabled. Okay. So I selected a particular calendar control date, maybe a 20th October has been selected by me. And then I'd given a click on a button, the round trip had happened, but 20 is still been selected. And the date is what been displayed on the label. I am now making a small change for the calendar control. For the calendar control, there is a property called an enable view state. I just make it as false. Now again, run this particular page. Now let's see what is happening. I am selecting the date, same like 20th is a date which has been selected. And I had given a click on a button. See the comedy what is getting happy. The date, state is not been maintained. The selected date is not been displayed. The different date is getting displayed. Rewind karke dekho, pehle barabar dekh raha tha, abhi barabar dekh nahi raha. Because view state data is not been maintained with the calendar control. So that's the reason control view state need to be maintained. By default it is always enabled true. But you can make it enable false and data is being posted back with the help of a hidden field named as a view state with the ID underscore view state and with the value of the view state. So this is the encrypted value. So that has been used for the sake of passing and managing the value of a view state. Now view state can be done with the control or with the page level as well as it can be done with the help of a variable also. The variable value also can be managed by using a view state. So how to do it? Chalo, I will just take a small example to maintain the value of a variable inside a view state. So I just uh, created a new web form. And here inside a web form, I'm adding a button. When I double click on a button, I want the variable x value should be increased by one. And a new value should be displayed on the label. So how to work with it? So I double click on a button. I may be writing over here in text equal to zero. Then I'm providing over here x plus plus. That means the value of x should be added by one. Then I'm providing label one dot text equal to x dot two string. So the value of x will be displayed on the label. When I'm trying to give a click on execution of the program, if I give a click on a button, what will happen? The variable x will be declared as 0. Then it will increase by 1. And then the new value will be displayed. For I give a click on a button for 10 times. Every time the value of x is what? Declared as 0 only. But I don't want that. I want variable x should be declared only once. But should be allowed to be accessed every time. So you may give a thought about declaring this as a member variable. So it is what common for all. Jaisa object oriented me amalala padata, vaisa amalala concept socha. Now you may think in this way also, but then also every time the postback occurs, again the variable x is being reinitialized as zero. So for n number of postback, you will find the value of x is maintained as what one. Now I don't want that. I want the value of x to be maintained somewhere in multiple callbacks. That can be done by using a view state. Then how to manage the value by using a view state? So I may be in a page load, I'm creating one view state. So I'm writing if not E is a postback. It means for the initial request. For the initial request, I'm writing view state dot one key need to be added with the name as my x with the value of x. Simple. So the value of x is being stored inside what your my x as a view state key when the page has been initially loaded. And with every post back, what I'm doing, I'm providing first of all, x equal to in dot path in the bracket, provide view state in, sorry, view state in the square bracket. The name of the variable is my x dot to string. So the string value then convert into integer. Then the value of x will be increased by one. And then the new value should be again assigned to my x. So I'm providing view state of my x equal to x. Simple.
Now let's see what is happening because of this. So I just run this IIS and here it comes. I am planning to just give a click on a button. The first time the view state value will be what? 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. But if I redirect it towards some any other page and then again I am coming towards my earlier page. Please concentrate. What will happen? Again the value of x will start from 1. Because view state ka scope sirf page develop hai rehta. Mala jaysay aap ye page se dusre page mein ke to view state ka value kya ho jata hai? Destroy ho jata hai. Wapas aap aage to view state wapas ek bar aapke page ke liye start se create ho jata hai. So that is what the beauty which you can see in what your view state. So this is all about the view state. In the next video we will try to understand about the session state and application state. So some few features, again I will explain you about a view state. The features of a view state are, these are the main feature, retains the value of control after the postback without using a session, store the value of a page and control property defines on a page, creates a custom view state provider and let you to store the view state information in the SQL Server database. Sir, ye kaisa karte hai? That is out of scope of our syllabus, but if suppose you are interested in learning, Definitely I will be interested in teaching, but not on a video basis. You come in person, I will be teaching how the thing should be working. So this is all about a view state in this video class. Uh, do let us know about uh, how do you like this particular video and please subscribe the channel.